it's been incredible. People have just been so excited. We had it parked outside the post office a couple of weeks ago and people just stopped and just, what is that? If you spend any time in Door County this summer, perhaps you noticed this iconic piece of the county's history. It's back on the road again. So we're marking the return of the Door County Bookmobile. Tonight in Small Towns, Jeff Alexander travels to Egg Harbor to learn how the bookmobile found new life after sitting idle for decades. So this is she. Wow. It is. Talk about a step back in time. It's a transformation. This is what it looked like when we got it. Yep, it was in bad, bad shape. <laughs> you really do need to see to believe. And what a journey it's been. It was pretty, you know, emotional to see it get back on the road. To get the Door County Bookmobile back where it belongs. When the state of Wisconsin funded a program in 1950 to improve literacy in rural areas, the Door County Bookmobile made its first journeys around the peninsula. Like all rural communities, there were so many outlying small schools in Door County, so the library system would go to all the schools, take reading materials, teaching materials to all the small schools, and that was on a route. So the bookmobile would leave Sturgeon Bay and go all the way up to Washington Island, Ellison Bay, Gills Rock, as well as down the Maplewood, Fortsville, Brussels area. Just a few years later, when state funding ran dry, Door County residents voted to keep their bookmobile going with tax dollars. So then Door County continued the bookmobile and bought this bookmobile in 1964, and it was in operation till the late 80s. John Sawyer remembers the county's second bookmobile, all shiny and brand new in 1964. And this is the bookmobile that we first walked on as first graders here in Egg Harbor. So for people of my age and through the 70s and 80s, have a great fond memory of this bookmobile because this was our connection to reading because we did not have libraries. By the late 1980s though, that began to change as small rural schools were closing and being consolidated with larger ones that had libraries. In 1989, Door County resident John Enigle bought the bookmobile and parked it on his property to store his large collection of books. There it sat, uncovered until 2014, when the Egg Harbor Historical Society purchased it. Leading up to and through the pandemic, ideas on what to do with the bookmobile were occasionally tossed around. But then, board member Carrie Birchinger got involved two years ago. I kind of questioned, you know, what are we doing with the bookmobile? And they said, well, why don't you go out and see what the community thinks? So I did. Went around and surveyed a number of people in a couple different villages. They all had smiles on their faces and said yes, they would support it. So the next day, when we had a meeting for the board, I gave them the update and they said, well, Carrie, why don't you start this project? And I said, one phone call to John Sawyer. And the two of us got started immediately. For Carrie and John, a passion project to restore a part of Door County history. The fundraising goal, $500,000 to get the wheels in motion. We met with people that we thought could partner with us on this, started going out and getting grants. So in a very short period of time, it came together, um, much with the support of the community. After a year at Reese's Auto Body Shop in Sturgeon Bay, the bookmobile had a new chassis and engine. Restoration efforts then shifted to the interior and the original wood shelving. Retired school teacher Katie Dahlstrom, now working as part-time program coordinator, says it's been a summer of fun. And every time I turn around, we're celebrating something. That's what's most fun about it. You know, we're celebrating buying books or we're celebrating the, the outside. We're celebrating the inside. We're celebrating the carpet. That was a big day. Um, so it's just been a ton of fun to be a part of this huge project that everybody likes. And that's evident every time the bookmobile makes an appearance. When we were at the parade, some people stopped me and screamed, I was on that bookmobile when I was a kid. And uh, it's just been such a great reaction. People are really excited about it. But don't think this bookmobile is just for show. It's ready to be a workhorse again. 
you know, we restore things or you buy an antique and it's put on the wall or whatever. This is something that is going to get put into service and touch people's lives. Like this month, when it travels to every Door County school to give a free book to every child in kindergarten through second grade. And uh, it comes with a bookmark and a sticker that reminds them that the Bookmobile gave them this book. And uh, then we hope to just create just a love of reading. Kids excited to see the Bookmobile again. In Egg Harbor with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. I make some great memories for you. Oh, well, not that particular bookmobile, but bookmobiles growing up, like John said, in the 70s and 80s, that's where you got you your, your books. books. Yep. Yeah, they would come to the schools, and, and so many children now are going to have that experience. And great. It looks lovely. <laughs> it sure does. So cool. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jeff, and, and the Door County crew for sharing that story with us. And next week in Small Towns, we're going to meet a retired woman from Peshtigo who discovered a passion for building birdhouses, and then she donates them to benefit others.